Welcome to Ultrax Morocco. Check out this place. <laughs> It's my first ultra, and I decided to, uh, yeah, to do an ultra above 100k. Feeling really good, but also really nervous at the same time. It's my first multi-stage ultra, ready to go. Massive, massive thank you for coming out here. It's been a really tough couple of months from Morocco as they recovered from the earthquake. Three, two, one. We are at about the 22 kilometer mark here on day one. Checkpoint two is a couple of kilometers away and the first runner is passing us right now. Whoa. We're having a great time. We've had about half the runners come through. It's very hot out. It's particularly steep going down into this checkpoint. We've seen a couple of slips, but everyone's in good spirits, recovering well, uh, full of energy and ready to go. <laughs> Loving it. Scenery is amazing. It's starting to warm up now, so might. I mean, it's possible to ease off from the pace we've been going. Might ease off a little bit. A few people looking a little bit hot, but we've cooled them down. They're feeling better. Everyone's looking pretty strong for day one. Our best comment and compliment was that we've got the best tunes out of every step so far. Checkpoint three, runners are coming in quite thick and fast now, which keeps us all on our toes. We like it hard, we like it. Amazing! Woo! The main demand is water and a bit of shade, so we're giving them as much as they can before we push them on their way. We've been on the massage table for 56 minutes now, no, no plan of leaving. It's hot, it's slightly hotter than expected. It's humbling. We've been doing lots of um, knee taping, um, a few ankles. Um, everyone's in really good spirits though, everyone's ready for today. I'm having my knee taped just to get ready for uh, today's race. I think it's gonna be stunning. Yeah, yes, there was, it was amazing. The heat really got to us at like 3 p.m. But came back, had some fuel, and yeah, we're feeling ready for today. Yesterday was uncharted territory, finished about a minute behind the Moroccan leader, so the local legend is uh, in my sights. Yeah, it was great to come in first, to be honest, today is just about getting through it. Good to see the finish line at the end of 50Ks, that's for sure. Welcome to day two of Ultra X Morocco. 50 kilometres, these are the 110 runners, they're starting in one minute's time. Let's go! We're at the 22 kilometer mark here of day two, and behind me is the UNESCO World Heritage Site, 8 Ben Hadlu. Beautiful sun here, the ground is amazing for running. Runs are really going fast, so you're two hours 40 for the 30 kilometers. Nice. It's the final checkpoint of the final day here at Ultrax Morocco. These runners are being absolutely incredible and in just 10 kilometers time, they are going to be at the Atlas Studios, which is the most amazing finishing point. 
The desertscape that the runners have been passing through over the last couple of days is well known in the film industry for making all sorts of big Hollywood blockbusters. And behind us, which is just two kilometers from the finish line of this race, is the set of Kingdom of Heaven. satisfaction I mean the course was unreal it was amazing out there everybody was so nice on their credit to the people who got me through today amazing experience as always with the old tracks but I'm glad we are done <laughs> done. I literally can't believe I've actually finished it the best thing ever I'm so so happy <laughs> Amazing course, like, I mean, when are you going to run through the Moroccan desert? Absolutely beautiful. Uh, Morocco is amazing. I feel like I've been reborn a little bit. It's been pretty, pretty awesome. This isn't my first Ultra X and, and it won't be my last either. So, yeah, really impressed. Woo! 